Fan fiction is one of those strange permutations in the world of geek, where a fan's imagination takes an existing piece of pop culture and just, just runs off into the woods with it, never to be seen again. Fan fiction stands as both a testament to the incredible passion these geeks have for whatever it is that they get geeky over, and the desperate crazy person that lives inside all geeks. There's no real formal structure for fan fiction, and no limit to what the subject matter can be. You'll find fan fiction based on everything from St. Elmo's Fire to Gundams. I recently discovered just how wide-ranging fan fiction can be when I discovered a piece of fan fiction depicting a day in the life here at GameSpot. Due to copyright and trademark laws, the Geneva Convention, the no tag backs rule, and various San Francisco zoning ordinances, we're not allowed to reproduce the actual text here. However, we talked to our lawyers and found a little loophole called dramatic interpretation. And so, the GameSpot players proudly present our dramatic interpretation of GameSpot fan fiction. We hope you enjoy. Dear Diary, today was my first day as an intern at GameSpot and boy did I have fun. I really lucked out winning the Be Best Friends with everyone at GameSpot and Be the Intern Also 2 contest. But then again, my rap song about how Bubble Man from Mega Man 2 was a punk ass punk was admittedly hard to beat. Look out, Bubble Man, cause you're in trouble, man. Mess with my buster arm and you'll be seeing double, damn. Doesn't matter how you say it, bubble lead or bubble lead, your special weapon is a joke, you're gonna end up dead. Aw oh, yeah, you can call me MC Tupac. Thanks to that expertly crafted slice of hippity hoppery, I now get to assist the editors at the world's most greatest and unbiased game information website on the web, GameSpot. And I even get my own parking space for the Porsche they gave me. I guess they must have a bunch of them. Anyways, back to my first day. After HR got me oriented and showed me where the secret jacuzzi was, I went down to the kitchen for some refreshments. Here I had my first encounter with Alex Navarro, the assistant editor for GameSpot. He seemed like a really nice guy. He bought me a Coke and then showed me how to kill a man with my bare hands. Now that we were friends, he took me to meet the other editors. First I met Sam Parker, GameSpot's resident PC hardware expert, who was more than happy to show me what Doom 3 running on a Radeon 9900 looked like. I can still taste the colors. Alex was introducing me to Jeff Grestman, who was about to let me in on Nintendo's megaton, megaton announcement, announcement when disaster struck. OMFG guys, we've been hacksword. Come look, quick! Help, help, Skeletor is back. What can we do? I have a plan. Follow me. Samus, it is time. Are you ready to face Skeletor? Samus, no! Look out behind you! No! no. I'm not going in there. I'm scared. We're doomed! I will sacrifice myself for the good of GameSpot. It was risky, but I had to do it. If only I could reroute the diverted data packets that Skeletor is using to hijack the site, I could create a satellite feedback delay strong enough to short circuit the OC3 between here and Eternia, creating a wormhole that would suck Snake Mountain into an alternate dimension. You did it! You have saved the day! You are the hero of GameSpot! And that was just the first day. I can't wait to see what tomorrow holds.